<clears throat> hi everyone welcome back to another video so i just finished actually just studying my bible as you can see and i'm about to do my budget so i just decided to record it for you guys and how i budget for my week um so i also want to say that i am not making an appearance today because i'm actually not feeling well i didn't go to work um I've got a toothache and my left cheek has just swollen up so yeah that is what I am going through right now so if you have any home remedies because I don't like taking a lot of antibiotics um, but if you have some home remedies on how to um, decrease the swelling it is quite big and my gum is very sore just comment down below because I will 100% need that Okay, so let's get into budgeting. I'll just remove all of this. Okay guys, hi. Thank you so much for the 100 subscribers. I am so grateful. I, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. Like, you know when you set goals and they actually become, you know, a reality, it just... It makes you just so grateful so thankful and it makes you want to work hard and I am so 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 happy you guys are subscribed to my channel because that is another push that I need to keep providing you know quality content and keep um, working hard towards my dreams and I really really hope that you enjoy every single video I come out with and um, in order for me to also know what you guys would like me to come up with please can you comment down below so without further ado let me show you how i budget my week all right so when it comes to my budgeting um i start off by basically um so this is the expense tracker that has everything that i need to pay for in the whole month of i'm going to say october because we're in october um this is just my prayer for every income so every time we get paid I read this prayer um, sometimes I forget but I try and read it as much as possible um, and this is our money savings tracker you guys already know about it actually I should be highlighting this KB was supposed to be the one doing it but we've been a bit if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that you know things haven't been going too well but they'll be fine um so that is september the september calendar september budgeting so that is all of september and then october in every beginning of the month i do like a self -refle self reflection like my why why am i doing this why am i budgeting why do i need to um you know save money track my income live well um by my means you know it's basically just for financial freedom and other things that i'll write down here and then i have a calendar i'm just going to take it out So with the calendar it has every day that I am getting paid on and it has the bills that um, are coming in those days. So we are heading on to this week and as you can see it's one of our big weeks. I did mention that on one of the videos I think on the first or the second video or the third one I'm not, I'm not really sure anymore because I'm doing a lot of the budgeting videos now. But I did mention that um, on our fourth week of the month, it's usually a big week where all our bills come in. So this is the week that I'll be budgeting. And I do budget weekly because we get paid weekly. But I do do a monthly um, like budget, basically, which is this one. I'll take it out as well. So um, I did show you guys this um monthly budget i think on the third video i'm not really sure but yes this is what i'll be using now to start my budgeting um i'll be looking at my calendar when is everything due and then i will budget it here and after budgeting here this is like a monthly budget i'll then do a weekly budget 
for um, the money that we're gonna get paid in this week and I know it's a bit confusing me explaining it this way but I'll be doing it right now so you're probably going to um, understand it a little better so I'm going to find my weekly budget um, sheet which is this one Alright, so when it comes to my budgeting, um, I start off by basically, um, so this is the expense tracker that has everything that I need to pay for in the whole month of, I'm going to say October because we're in October, um, this is just my prayer for every income, so every time we get paid, I read this prayer. Um, sometimes I forget, but I try and read it as much as possible. Um, and this is our money savings tracker. You guys already know about it. Actually, I should be highlighting this. KB was supposed to be the one doing it, but we've been a bit... If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that, you know, things haven't been going too well, but they'll be fine. Um, so that is September, the September calendar, September budgeting, so that is all of September, and then October, and every beginning of the month I do like a self-reflection, self like my why, why am I doing this, why am I budgeting, why do I need to, um, you know, save money, track my income, live well, um, by my means, you know, it's basically just for financial freedom and other things that I'll write down here. And then I have a calendar. I'm just going to take it out. So with the calendar, it has every day that I am getting paid on and it has the bills that um, are coming in those days. So we are heading on to this week and as you can see it's one of our big weeks. I did mention that on one of the videos, I think on the first or the second video or the third one, I'm not, I'm not really sure anymore because I'm doing a lot of the budgeting videos now. But I did mention that um, on our fourth week of the month, it's usually a big week where all our bills come in. So this is the week that I'll be budgeting and I do budget weekly because we get paid weekly but I do do a monthly um, like budget basically which is this one. I'll take it out as well. So um, I did show you guys this um, monthly budget I think on the third video. I'm not really sure. But yes, this is what I'll be using now to start my budgeting. Um, I'll be looking in my calendar, when is everything due, and then I will budget it here. And after budgeting here, this is like a monthly budget, I'll then do a weekly budget for um, the money that we're going to get paid in this week. And I know it's a bit confusing me explaining it this way, but I'll be doing it right now, so you're probably going to... Um, understand it a little better so I'm going to find my weekly budget um, sheet which is this one Okay, so I'm just going to use my prayer journal just to um, press on it and put my calendar right here. Okay, oops. And then I can start working out my budget for this week. I'll just zoom you guys in a little bit just so you can get a clear picture. So these are the bills that don't change. So we've got, um, you know, obviously rent, 
savings, food, uh, cigarettes have actually gone down to 52. KB found a spot where they sell them a little cheaper, but it's not really that much, honestly. And gym and gas, I will do $30 this time because we got um, some money in the, ca in the gas envelope. So all of this together is... All of that together is eight seven four for this week. And now we're going to work out our monthly payments on how we're going to fit them in this week and what is actually due this week. So uh, before I, I do the other ones, I'll just see what is due. So I've got Adobe which is due this week, but I think I have saved enough for Adobe week 1, week 2, week 3, 12, 24, 36. Yep, that is good to go. So Adobe is good to go. I don't have to um, budget for it here, but I am going to because, like, um, I do budget every week for um, monthly expenses if I can. So um, $35 divided by... So the next payment is on the 22nd, which is in five weeks. So 35 divided by five is seven, obviously. So I'll just put $7 here. Um, unfortunately with Canva, I had enough money saved up already for Canva, but my power just, oh my gosh, it just really shocked me. It wasn't what I budgeted. So I budgeted $162, but it was actually $184. So I had to take the $22 here and put it there. I know you, you're probably saying, why couldn't I take money from savings? But um, I honestly don't like touching our savings unless we have to. And if you saw my video last week, you know how much you know savings is a big deal to me right now. Um, so I just use Canva money just because I know that I will have, you know, that money on our next paycheck. So I'm going to have to budget $22. Um, Netflix, nope, I don't have to budget for that one. Click Funnel, yeah. So Click Funnel is actually due here in 4680, and youtube kb's one is due mine is due the following week so i'll just put eight dollars here internet um we've actually paid for wi-fi but because it is quite a big bill i like making sure that we budget for it um weekly if we can even if it's just ten dollars um depending on how much we make that week like um the small bills like netflix and uh, youtube they're just you know sixteen dollars or twelve dollars or whatever i don't really budget for it every week because it's not that big you know of a cost but the other bills i do um so internet Um, okay, wait, I'll come back to that one. I just want to see how much can we put onto internet. So, Mr. Green, actually, it's $25. Power is going to be 30 Okay, so Mr. So, internet is actually going to be 24. I think so. <laughs> okay, I'll just add that all up together. So, 874 plus 30 plus 25 plus 24 plus 8 plus 40 plus 7 plus 22. 1030 which does not sound right to me I have it in all up oops 874 plus 30 
30 plus 25 plus 24 plus 8 plus 40 plus 7 plus 22 yeah 1030 um i think what i can do is probably add ah i know where i went wrong Okay, I know where I went wrong. So we've actually got, I'll, I'll show you now when I do my weekly budget, which is actually a sinking fund that is not included in the year. That's where I'm getting confused because I know that I budget every single dollar. So I was kind of confused why do we have $70 left? Like, for what? That should go into a bill. So, um, okay. So these are our bills, our um, monthly bills and weekly bills that we have to have to have to make sure that everything is um, on track basically just so we don't go overdraft or in debt or whatever. And the bill that I wanted to add here is for my MacBook. So if you guys watch my sinking fund video, you know that I'm saving to buy a MacBook. So it is not over there because I had not started um, doing sinking funds when I did this uh, sheet. So I only started doing sinking funds um, like two weeks ago. So um, I'm going to make a new sheet which will have sinking funds in it. Okay. Sorry for the confusion, guys. I'm going to speed up writing all the bills here and then i'll write the amounts with you guys and i'll show you how i budget for the week so the amounts that we are expecting to get is 1100 or it could be more which is fine you always try and budget for your worst case scenario don't budget too much money um, if you're not a hundred percent sure if you get paid hourly like us and it is for this week just like the last week of October I think not really cool so I'm just gonna write down the um, expenses I'll speed that up and then I'll come back when I write down the amount with you guys Okay, so this is um, all the bills for this week and I'm going to add my one sinking fund which is a MacBook. The MacBook goal is 2200 for 14 months, you guys already know that, and it is $160 um, a month. So I didn't want to save $160 a month, so I decided to save $40 a week. That's why it's going to be in my weekly um, paycheck now only if i can afford it that week but if something else had to show up like another bill i would have to minus that one and probably the following week i can save 80 bucks on it so yeah so rent so two two five savings 470 so these are like our big bills um you can just tell what are our priorities it's obviously rent and savings food $85 can you believe guys that our food used to be $200 so now it's $85 food and nappies um I say food and nappies because it's all in one supermarket anyways gym is $12 yes uh 30 this week it's usually 35 but I already have money in the gas envelope cigarette is 52 Mr. Green 25 Adobe and YouTube. So for Adobe, we're putting away seven dollars, and YouTube, we're putting away eight. Seven plus eight. Click Fun, uh, KB's thing, which is forty dollars this week. And then um, it's actually due to be paid up. Canva twenty-two, also due this week power um, and internet so for power we're putting 30 internet we're putting uh, 24 so that is 54 
and the MacBook is 14. When are these uh, payments due? Let's get another pin. Oh, I don't think you'll see a pink one. So I'll get the blue. Wrench is. Okay. I don't know if you can see it that one. Okay. Savings, Tuesday. As soon as you get paid. Food. I would just say Tuesday, even though we could go probably Wednesday. Gym, Thursday. Guess, Tuesday. Cigarette, Tuesday. Mr. Green is, I think it's on the 24th. Uh, Adobe and YouTube which is on the 22 but I don't have to put the Adobe one I'll just put YouTube because Adobe money is already sitting there waiting for it to be deducted on Tuesday so I'll just put YouTube which is on the 25th uh, click fan is also on Tuesday so 22 Kenza 23rd Power and internet that is on you know the next week to come so power is 18th and internet is the 16th of November and MacBook um, I'll just go Tuesday because that's when I put it into sinking funds and then once everything is paid I usually just take 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 so now I'm just gonna calculate if we have Budgeted correctly to every single dollar. <laughs> I will change that to sixty four. So I'll go plus ten. So I've got $20 left, which is fine. I'll leave the $20 as um, as it is. And then I'm going to go here and put 40. This helps me when I close up my budget and I'll show you how I do that on the next video as we end the month of October. So it is 1080 and got $20 remaining. And then I grab a highlighter and I highlight everything that's going to be with like going into the cash envelope. So that is going to be withdrew. I'm going to withdraw money for food and nappies. I'm going to withdraw money for gas, money for cigarette. Uh, I'm not gonna withdraw Mr. Green. I don't you click from can. And then um, I'll just withdraw the the savings. It's well, I'll just do this halfway because I get it. But with savings, I'm going to write it here on the side that I am actually going to withdraw two forty. because $100 um, each for me and KB is going to go onto our goals envelope. You remember these envelopes? See, there's nothing in here now because all the money is in our bank accounts, but we're gonna start again um, on our goals and our savings. Um, and I've got a groceries envelope. For groceries in our groceries envelope there's always these cards um, which you get um, discounts when you use them after grocery shopping and then I've got a gas envelope which already has $20 in it um, I think that's about it and then I've just got this one that I, I just made up just it's just got our um, 
debit cards here. Look, it's got a <laughs> um, estates dollar bills and it's just got these scratchy things that I actually need to use because actually I might win some money. Who knows? Okay, and then I'm just going to calculate how much I'm actually withdrawing. So 240 plus 85 plus 30 plus 52. So I'm withdrawing 407. I mean, it's not possible to withdraw that amount of money. So I'm just going to say I'm going to withdraw 410. Just put a star, let's put this one on the side. Let's put a star and go 14. Yeah, withdraw. And I'll minus the three dollars here. That is in there. So we've got 17 left. Perfect. So this is how I budget this week. So when we get paid, I will whip this out. I'll take that money out. I'll put it in our cash envelopes. And then I'll start distributing this money in our accounts. So the one, the rent will sit in our um, uh, checking accounts because it gets deducted. And uh, gym as well. And the other ones like power and internet, there is a bills account that I'm just going to transfer it. Macbook, there is a sinking funds account in our account. I'll just transfer it there. Um, Mr. Green, there is Mr. Green in the account. I'll just transfer it over there. And then savings, that automatically gets deducted as well. So the, the ones that is left. So that will just sit there until it gets deducted. And yeah, that is it. This week is looking okay. Last week did not go so well just because um, with power I ended up spending canvas money to go into power because power is not what I budgeted. So, I mean, it's always trial and error. You will figure out what works for you and um, you, you won't be good at it at the beginning like you know I'm not really good at it but I am I think it's it's going well you know and I want to be good at it and I want to help other people who are struggling with their money and um, also want to you know save a lot of money or you know decrease into other expenses that it, sometimes it looks like it's so hard to decrease like groceries I, I thought it was so hard I was like oh my gosh I'm no longer gonna get this and that but it is possible it is honestly possible so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video I can do a cash stuffing one when I get paid actually so that will be in two days I can um, film that one for you guys and if you want me to do a grocery one how I actually decrease my groceries from $800 to $340 I think how much do I pay for groceries in a month so I actually saved like $500 I think yeah so okay just comment down below if there's something that i touched on but you didn't really understand so you want me to explain more in depth and um you know what i was trying to say but i didn't really get to the uh you know to the core of it so just let me know because sometimes i do watch videos and they touch on something i want to hear and then they just leave it hanging there so just let me know if i also did that on on something here when it comes to budgeting but yeah i really hope you enjoyed it guys and also i will be back with another video